All the members of BTS have officially entered the army and my friend is sad. She's also sick. So I'm gonna make her some BT21 things to make her feel better. Though she'll probably already feel better by the time I finish this, but she'll still be sad. So I'm going to make, I don't actually know what the character is called. It's the BT21 character that is for army. And I don't know who made it either. I don't know anything about it, but we're gonna make that as like a cushion plushy thing. And then we're gonna make a humongous blanket. It's not a humongous blanket. We're gonna make a blanket that has all the BT1 BT, what am I saying? BT21 characters on it. Yay. <laughs> now I don't have any white for my cushion thing, but don't worry. Don't worry. This is the biggest Michaels box I've ever gotten thus far. Within this box, we have all these items we need to become the masters of BTS crochet. They gave me packing paper. I love packing paper. So pretty, it's so beautiful. It's just full of yarn. <laughs> I would have liked to have packed this, that's nice. Ooh, that's heavy. And I have light gray already. This will probably be my last yarn purchase for the rest of the year. I cannot get a job. And this was all for free because I got a gift card for Christmas and I spent it already. <sighs> So I made my first half, I messed up, this is gonna have to be my back half because I didn't think about, you know, the white or the gray having to be on a certain side. So I did not check, but it's supposed to be the opposite. So this will be the back. Now I shall show you what I did. I am using a five millimeter hook. I am going to chain five in white because I did gray for this because I was starting with gray on this side. Now we're gonna be doing white on this side. So that is what I do. And I did half double crochets. So I'm just going to wrap this around and do two half double crochets in the second chain from C hook. Then do one half double crochet in the next one. Don't finish it off because we're gonna color change to Z gray. Leave the white there because we're gonna use it on our way back again. And we can work over the gray stuff here though. So I'm going to half double crochet in this next chain. And then in the last chain, gonna do another two half double crochets. So we carry on like that, increasing on either side every row, switching colors in the middle, and chaining one between each row. Unless you would like to chain more, that is up to you. So the next row, I'm gonna do two half double crochets in this first stitch, then one half double crochet in these next two stitches. My laundry is finished. And then this is our back side, so we're gonna keep everything on the back here, very nice. Switch colors, half double crochet, half double crochet, two half double crochet. Oh chain, turn over, and again, that's our one, two, first two rows, we're gonna do four more rows like that. And for the next three rows, we're just gonna half double crochet across, no increasing, no decreasing. Now for the next three rows, we're going to decrease once on either end. For the next row, we're also decreasing once on either side, but we're doing three together instead of two. So I'm gonna crochet this one, this one, and this one all to get- Ah! Oh, gosh dang it! <laughs> Where am I? This one, this one, this one, all together. And same on the other side. And then we're just going to half double crochet across all of these. No increase, no decrease. Then we're gonna go back to our decreasing. So for this next row, we're going to decrease the two white together. So then you have to use the gray to pull it through both of them. And then we're gonna decrease the two gray together. So, and then we do our chain and then we turn around. And then we're gonna decrease the two last stitches together. But since they're different colors, we're gonna pull up a loop from here. Let go of the gray, grab the white, and instead of pulling the white through, we're going to go into the last hello, last white stitch, whatever that is, and pull up a loop and then go through. I didn't do that right. Where is what? Starting that part over, wrap around your white, stick it through the white stitch, pull up a loop. I feel like I don't have enough loops on here. I don't know what's going on. There we go. And then we fasten up. And there we have our two pieces. Again, remember to do the opposite colors on the other side so that they're, you know, two gray together, two white together inside, you know. And if I'm being honest, I wish I didn't do the first 
row because look, it's a kind of an odd shape when you pull it out. Hopefully it won't matter whenever you stuff it. But instead of doing the first row, you could just start with chaining seven instead and then just continuing on from there and doing five rows of increase instead of six and that would be beautiful and if it doesn't look good like this i might just try to stitch them together with this folded in i actually probably will do that skip the first row and chain seven instead now i'm going to do the little face and i really really want to try to do surface crochet because i've only done it once and it's pretty cool and it looks better but I don't know, it's a bit harder. Though it is easier to, you know, undo it. So I don't know, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Surface crochet is basically just slip stitching across the top of something. I literally didn't know what it was until one of you guys told me about it. <laughs> and then I used it recently for a cardigan. But basically, you insert. Okay, I have a slip knot on the end of this. I stick it on, okay, through the back. And then I pull it up. This looks complicated, it's not. <laughs> And then I just stitch into the next one, pull up a loop, pull that through. Stick into the next one, pull up a loop. Hello? I'm using a smaller hook for this. I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook just so that I can get more detailed. I'm making it look harder than it is because I'm trying to show as I do it. Um, yeah, that's all it is. How do you finish it off, you ask? I don't remember. Let's, um, I guess you just cut it and then pull through. Yeah, and then you have to leave it. But now I'm like, do you have to like fasten off every time you make a line? Cause now I have to do the other cross, but I don't know how to get my cap. That's annoying. Um, maybe I can just fasten this off and leave a long line. And then if I leave a long tail, fasten this off, then stick it back through to the back. Then I could go where I need to start and just pull it up again. Does that make sense? I think so. Let's go for that. Okay, that was a little bit of a learning curve, but look at this circle that I did first try without even trying very hard. It is perfection. My X looks a little more messy, but it's whatever. And on the back, I also wrote this. Is it even legible? I don't know. Argue if you want. That's supposed to be a heart. I don't know. I don't know if this is <laughs> legible at all, but it's the thought that counts. Anyway, now I'm going to, instead of just stitching them, I'm going to crochet along the outside just because I think that would make a nice finishing along it. And again, I'm going to fold these over so it's round. Oh, and also I didn't even mention, yeah, I meant for it to be bigger, but then as I was crocheting, I was like, oh my gosh, it could be one of those little like keychain things you put on your purse, like the little plushy ones. And then I went too far and now it's too big to be a keychain thing and too small to be a cushion thing. So I don't know. I guess it's just gonna be, it's even a little bit smaller than these things that Jibberdinka for me and she has one too. Who did she get? Oh, she got RJ and now she'll have this guy. I don't even think she likes this thing because at first I didn't like this thing either. I'm like, why would I choose this when I could get one of the members? But I don't know, it just looked cute and I wanted to, I thought it would be cute to make. So it was a selfish reason I made this. I don't think, she, I don't know if she'll like it. <laughs> so I crocheted the white side with white and the gray side with gray. And then I forgot to stuff it before I finished. So I had to undo a bit so I could stuff some stuff in it. All of the ends and stuff are in there too. Cause I just tied everything together so it wouldn't come loose. And then that'll be part of the stuffing, which kind of sucks because the, it's like kind of loose, you know, it's kind of holy. So it's not the greatest but is whatever. I'm not gonna overly stuff it anyway. I just kind of wanted a little cushiony, not like fully stuffed. This doesn't really look like it to me. I don't know. <laughs> it looks pretty creepy. Maybe I will stuff it a lot. I don't know. Okay, it's done. It's cute, but I don't like it. I can't really tell what it is exactly that I don't like about it. It looks like a little dumpling or something. So that's cute, but yeah, I don't really know. And I don't know what it is. It'll just have to be like a little decoration thing. And you can see the black through the white because it's not. <sighs> It's whatever. I should have made it smaller so it's cuter. And then, I don't know, this could be a cushion. <laughs> Adorbs. Moving on. Now it's time for the blanket. Thingamajigger. I don't really know what it is, but this was what I was originally doing. Just like bars across and I had their faces in their, you know, pixelated grid pattern. But look at Meg, Mong, whatever you call him. Oh, no, RJ's cute. Look at Mong. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't know how else to make them. And this is why I wanted to do some surface crochet on here because I wanted to see how easy surface crochet is because if I can do surface crochet instead of a grid pattern, I would love that. I do not like grid patterns. Also, I don't know. This long looks stupid. Um, What's Jimin's called? I forget, but it looks stupid too. <laughs> So instead, what I might do, because I think it might look weird with it being all the way apart, and I had to, I'll have, I would have had to rearrange this anyway because the colors are not very well organized, so I would have to switch them around anyway. But I'm thinking now, instead of doing it like this, I'm gonna do it like more squares and have them side to side, which means I'm gonna have to really rearrange them. But I think it's just a little bit boring if it's just a big long strip with just a face in the middle. Could have been good, I don't know, but I'm gonna change it now anyway. And I can't do them in any particular order other than what looks good because I'm pretty sure, well I guess RM's leader, so he would be at the top. I was gonna say RM and J-Hope have the same color. I don't freaking know people, I'm gonna rearrange these now and see what happens. Happens, but if I do it like the way I'm talking about now with the squares, I'm gonna have to add in the army uh, character too because it has to be eight, right? Or I guess I could just do like a heart or something. I don't know. And JK is her bias, so that's why I put Cookie at the top, but I don't freaking know. <laughs> All right, so I have finished my chart, but the only thing is I'm not using it like this. You know, I was just using it to see, like I'm not doing a grid. I'm just using it to see how the colors look together, the placement of the colors and the faces in there. It looks very beautiful. And guess what? It looks very beautiful finished as well. <laughs> This took about eight hours, so I started it yesterday. I'm so cold right now. I started it yesterday and I just finished it today. It is almost two o'clock, which means I'm guessing that I'm gonna finish this today. I don't know. I feel like it'll take another eight hours to actually put on the faces and stuff. So maybe it will be the entire day, but I've decided I'm not necessarily going to be surface crocheting everything. I'm going to also be making things so like for the eyes and stuff i'm probably just gonna do like um six single crochets in a magic ring kind of thing and whatever is too hard to shape i'll probably surface crochet i'm not really sure what i'm doing for this square yet either i might just do like a heart or maybe say like borahe or something i don't know this is a lot softer than the new jeans powerpuff girl blanket that i also made for the same friend she's gonna be like what are you doing <laughs> don't need all these blankets and they're not even like blankets they're too small to be blankets i should have made this one bigger because it would have been easy to make it bigger but i didn't i think it's slightly bigger though i don't know probably not actually i don't know I think I used a bigger hook for it though. Anywho, I'm gonna sneeze. So what this is, is I chained 70, then I did 34 of one color, 34 of the other color, and then did, well this is a bad way to show it because that's RJ square, but I did two white in the middle. And this is all half double crochet, why? Because it's faster, but I ended up doing the same amount of rows, so I don't know, I don't know. Because it didn't look as square to me, but I guess these aren't square either, but I was like, maybe it'll look better, more square. I don't know. So there are 24 rows of each color, and then in between each color block thing, I did two rows of... And obviously you could do each cube, each cube, each square separately, and then stitch them all together, but that just adds extra time in my opinion. And this is the first time ever that I've switched colors a bunch and not got things tangled up. I got them very tangled up the first, the first two colors to be honest. But then after that, I was like, wow, this is a who, who new world. <laughs> it's all about how you turn it. Okay. I was wondering how things kept getting tangled because I was like, I'm not twisting them, but it's how you turn it. So say I'm working this way, right? Blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, okay, every time I'm gonna turn the blue away from me because I don't like blue, okay? And then I was like, and then, so then I'd work this way, right? And then I would turn the white towards me because I am white. <laughs> 
I made up those little things in my head because it made it easier to remember which way I was going. But yeah, if you keep turning it like the opposite every way, like if you're on the one side and you turn away from you the other all every time and then you're on the other side and you turn towards you all the time, you're just turning it back and forth so nothing is getting tangled. Whereas before I was like not even thinking about it, I'd probably be like no 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 just twisting it the same every time and then obviously everything's gonna get twisted. I don't know why it took me this long to figure that out, but I'm happy now. You still have to think about it or else it gets tangled and then I'm upset, but it's whatever. Anyway, now I'm gonna make a bunch of eyes. <laughs> okay, let's go feature by feature. So everyone, except for Frick, I'm just gonna call them by the members' names, not their names, because I keep forgetting. <laughs> Um, RMs doesn't have eyes. Well, he does. He's sleeping all the time. So aside from him, I did these little circles for all their eyes. I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to talk right now. <laughs> oh! This is 10 half double crochets in a magic ring. And then the only other member whose eyes are different is Mong's Ming's. J-Hopes. <laughs> This has a hole in it, ignore that. I'll show you this one. So this is the same. It's 10 half double crochets in a magic ring, but then we're doing the second round of increasing in every stitch as well. And then we're gonna stitch these on before stitching it to the blanket. Next, I have done a single nose because we need two animal shaped triangular noses. So I made this little triangle. That's not very triangular. You can kind of see how it's a bit triangular. What am I saying? This looks exactly like Cookie's nose. So I don't know. And then I'll show you how to do that now because I have to make another one for RJ. So how we do this is we do, hello, where is my thing? Focus, we're doing two single crochet, right? Chain, two single crochet. I stop it. Okay, one more. Chain, two single crochet. And then we pull it together. Should I do two more chain? Where am I? Who did I start with? Yeah, I should do two more chain. Oh, no, I wasn't doing two chains in cookies. I just did one chain in between. Was I doing two chains? I don't know. I only did one chain for cookies. For cookies, so I don't know. This is a bit more triangular, I think for RJ, but it's fine. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do Shuki's mouth. So with this color here, it's actually not that much darker than his, so I should've gotten a darker brown, but it's whatever. I did five half double crochets in the magic ring and then pulled it tight to make, you know, just a half circle. And then I'm going to chain one, turn. And you know what? I don't know what I'm doing from here. We're gonna see what works. So in the next chain, we're going to just do one. And then the other ones in the middle will do increase. Or actually this looks too deep and not wide enough. So I'd have to do another row, but then it's gonna be even deeper. So what I'm gonna do is redo this row. Right, so we already chained one at the beginning of this row. I'm gonna chain one more because we're gonna do a double crochet here. A double. And then in the remaining ones, we're just gonna do single crochet increases. Oh, where are my stitches? And then again on the end, we're going to do, oh, hello, I missed one. We're going to do a double crochet in our last stitch. <laughs> should I do two? I probably should have done two. Why does this look so tight? I don't know. I don't know, we need to do another row though. So we'll do the exact same thing. Chain two, work a double crochet in this one, and then single crochet increases, and then just a double crochet in the last one. And then we have this, which isn't very neat. So if you want to slip stitch across the top or single crochet across the top, I did single crochet. I think that looks a bit better. I think, I think. Now we got to do the teeth. The teeth is the same as how we started the mouth. I just did five half double crochet in a magic ring. And I think that looks kind of cute. So we'll just sew that on there. I'm stupid. I didn't even check to see if it went with the eyes and it does not because the eyes are way too big so I need to make this bigger. Ugh. So I just did two more rows of this though. It, so, I un <laughs> so I undid my like single crochet across and did two more rows of this only we're not increasing in here anymore because I increased too much already anyway. And then I had to make the teeth again. So I did, what did I do? It was the same as the first one, five half double crochet in a magic ring. And then the second row, it's the same as this, only with a half double crochet on either end instead of a double crochet. And then single crochet increases in between. Beautiful. 
The proportions now make more sense, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Do whatever you want. Also, I love Shuki because Shuki is done now. Oh no, I broke him. His eyebrows are pretty thin. I'm just going to, what do you call it? Surface crochet them. Yay. I thought Tata's mouth was more oval like so i was gonna do like chain it and make an oval but it looks pretty round so i think i'm gonna do it in a magic ring as well this looks like the shape of his mouth right like it's slightly ovular so all i did was in a magic ring do two half double crochet and then on either end it's three double crochet two half double crochet three double crochet slip stitch and then I need to do one more round. And it's supposed to be an increasing round, so I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna do, well, actually I should chain M. So I'll chain, I'll da 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 da, what shall I do? Okay, so in this second round, after we slip stitch, I chained one, half double crochet in this stitch here, half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next two stitches, we're gonna put two double crochet each then in the next stitch is two half double crochets then the stitch after that is a half double crochet next one is another half double crochet and then the last two are two that doesn't make sense what oh, okay we're starting over or no we don't have to start over i'll just count this chain as another single crochet or another half double crochet so in this stitch it's actually okay so let's review so this is going to be an increase this first one because we chained and then we did the half double crochet and then we did another single half double crochet and then we did an increase half double crochet increase double crochet increase double crochet increase half double crochet single half crochet <laughs> and now we're gonna do another increase half double crochet this is so confusing i'm so sorry then we're going to do our two double crochets in each stitch again on the other side and then i don't know we should be able to slip stitch to the top of this chain or no we didn't even we only chained one maybe chain Chain two so you can slip stitch to the top of the chain because then that leaves a bit of a hole there and there we have it i'm sweating we have to do another row because it's not big enough just a second try to be more clear this time so we're gonna chain two we're gonna work in this next stitch half double crochet next is half double crochet next is half double crochet next is two half double crochets try to do the same pattern as last row although i didn't increase enough in last row so we'll see now we're gonna do two double crochets in this stitch next stitch is also two double crochets next stitch is also two double crochets next stitch is also two double crochets so we're basically just double crocheting in all the double crochets that we did last round e. next stitch is two half double crochets and then we do a half double crochet half double crochet half double crochet uh two half double crochets and then in each of the next stitches, one, two, three, four, five, there's five of them, oh no. Okay, this one wasn't supposed to be two half double crochets. It was supposed to be a single one. And then our next one will be two half double crochets. Eek. And then for the next four, we'll do double crochets. Ay. Increases in each of them. Is that an appropriate size? I feel like it's too thick and not wide enough, but we'll just sew it on so that it looks wider. And also it's hard to tell with all these freaking ends. I'm just gonna stitch the eyebrows because the eyebrows are super thin. I'm dying here. <laughs> I was gonna do Chimmy's nose different from RJ's and Cookie's, but I realized I could just do, instead of doing the triangle like pointing down this way, I can just flip it around and it'll look like Chimmy's. Let's work. I made a huge circle. Uh well, not so huge circle. <laughs> In white for Chimmy's face, it is double crochet to the sixth round because that's what looks good. And now for Cola's, is that his name? For RM's, we're doing his nose and we're doing the same as Tata's mouth, only if you'll remember, we used half double crochet. Instead of the half double crochet, we're gonna use single crochet. We're still using double crochet, but instead of doing, we started with two double crochet on this side, two double crochet on this side. Instead of doing that, we're doing 
one double crochet on this side, three double crochet on this side, just so that we get more of the teardrop shape and it's like a perfect teardrop shape. So if I can uh, do the next few rows perfectly, then it'll be good. And I'm just gonna increase kind of the same way that I did this, even though it didn't work properly, obviously, because it's, it's not enough. For the second round, I did an increased single crochet, a single single crochet. And then in the top part here, where we had our double crochet, I did one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, all in the same stitch. And then again, single crochet, increase single crochet. Then in each of the double crochet stitches, I increase double crochet. So two double crochet, two double crochet, two double crochet, and then I slip stitched it to the beginning. And I think we need one more row. Maybe I should have made his with eyes because everyone else, well, no, I guess diversity. I don't know. Okay, I was confused looking through pictures because I was like, I swear I've seen him with his eyes open before and I couldn't find any pictures, but it's the baby one that has his eyes open. And I'm not doing the baby versions that I know of. If they end up looking like the baby versions, then yeah, I totally meant to do the baby versions. For this last row, hopefully it will be the last row. I'm just going to try to do the same as the other row. So I'm going to single crochet, single crochet. Hi. We'll maybe make that two single crochet just so that I don't get Oh no, that looks weird. It's whatever. We'll continue. Single crochet, single crochet. Then in this top stitch, I'm gonna do the same as I did last time. I'm gonna do a single crochet, a double crochet, and another single crochet, all in the same stitch. Is it looking okay so far? I think so. And then we'll do a single crochet, single crochet increase in the next one. And then we're gonna single crochet, another single crochet. Um, well, maybe do one more single crochet and then start doing our double crochet increases at, around the bottom here. Is that too much? I think that's good. I feel like this is too teardrop shaped now. I don't know. Or no, maybe we'll go back. We'll do one more single crochet, or like a, a single crochet increase in this last one before we start our double crochet. So we'll just do double crochet one, two, three bottom stitches, all increasing. And then our last couple of stitches or whatever stitches we have left, uh, I'll do an increase single crochet in that one because we did that on this side and then a last single crochet and then we will slip stitch to the beginning and beautiful i think that's good and kind of work it into the shape that i want it to be a bit more or less pointy beautiful i'm oh, so red i did my heart for mang mong mong mang <laughs> these look like googly eyes they're so funny it's not big enough but you know i don't know i just follow the tutorial that i usually follow it'll be linked below and i just didn't want to have to figure out the next row and like like the increase and stuff would be easy enough but it's almost time for me to be done like it's late i have been making myself crochet for like eight hours and the eight hours is up in an hour so technically i still have an hour but like what do you really do in the last hour of work so what i did was i did it with two strings of yarn and then i used my 10 millimeter hook the biggest hook that i could find oh maybe i should have done three but i still don't have a bigger hook because this isn't really big enough, but I mean, it gets the point across as well, so I don't know. Maybe I'll feel like doing it properly tomorrow, but right now, I really don't. <laughs> and I could sew all these on now, but I don't want to. And what do we do when we don't want to do something? We leave it for tomorrow's us. I'm gonna take a shower now. <laughs> Tis the next morning. I am currently weaving in the ends that I don't need to use to weave in to the actual thing, you know? I've currently only done this much and that's already taken, what time is it? 45 minutes, cause I started at 8.30. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. I was stitching together the things that I can stitch together before I sew them onto the actual thing and this is my pile of things that I need to weave in the ends for. It's 9.35, I've got all my pieces ready, I believe, unless there's some missing, I didn't actually count them. But it looks like all my eyes are in pairs. I did decide to keep my heart. I'm just going to try to kind of stretch it out a bit as I sew it and hope for the best. I think this is gonna look creepy anyway, cause I don't know. You don't usually see Monk from the front anyway. I don't know. 
I don't know. What I'm gonna do before I sew these on is I'm going to do the line for Tata's mouth. I'm probably gonna surface crochet that. And then I'm probably gonna surface crochet Jimmy's mouth before attaching it as well. More ends to weave in, yay. All right, so I did this surface crochet, this piece surface crochet and the tongue surface crochet. It looks like art. And then I outlined the tongue kind of messily, not very nicely in black. And then I did the little nose things for Mong. That is just sewing embroidery, not surface crochet. I cannot believe that this all took an hour and a half. I never cease to overestimate how fast I can do things, but I'm gonna have breakfast and then we'll put it all together. <laughs> And then do more sewing and weaving in ends. It's so much fun. Here are all my parts sewed on. This took almost an hour and a half again. I just want to show every stage in case like it starts looking bad at some point. I'm proud of some of this. Especially because I found a picture of Mong looking like head on and then I realized that it would look less creepy if it was like half a, an eye because you know dimensions. Um, I don't know if it worked, it still looks pretty creepy. <laughs> And I don't really know what to do with this because this isn't done because how do I put the mane in? Like the mane wouldn't make sense, I don't think. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm going to do the rest of my sewing and surface crochet. I also need to weave in the ends of the actual belongets. But yeah, fun times. I'm hoping to be done by one, but that's only like 52 minutes away. So we'll see. <laughs> okay, we're not finished yet but I finished doing all my faces. I thought this hat was fitting. <laughs> I did this with like a heart and it says Borahe on it, but it's very messy. It's very, I don't know. And the heart's barely visible because I did it in the same color. If she wants to take that out, she can just cut that out. This one is my least favorite, so I kind of wish that I traded it with Mong, but Mong still kind of looks creepy, so it doesn't really matter. Heart is cute, Tata's cute. Everyone else is pretty cute. I might have went a little overboard on Cookie's eyebrow, but it is his signature. You know, it's just who he is. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is a border. And I'm kind of regretting deciding to do a border now, but I feel like it would be nice. I was originally gonna do like a frilly one not like super frilly but like a little bumpity but I don't know if I would suit it because this is so like I don't know like neat and straightforward but as you can see the edges are kind of stretching out it looks like so I'm gonna probably go around single crochet once and then I'll go around either half double crochet or double crochet we will see it's looking good though got to say that it is literally 2 30 <laughs> And I thought I would finish this at 1. Before that, I thought I would finish it by 12. <laughs> now what should I say? Uh, the end of my 8-hour shift for today is 4.30 because I started at 8.30. So <laughs> my guess is that it'll take me another 2 hours. I don't know how it'll take me 2 hours to do the border, but somehow I will find a way, I am sure, because somehow everything always takes way longer than I expect. <sighs> But right now I need to stretch because I've been sitting here sewing for like, how long has it been? Since 11? That's three and a half hours, okay. <laughs> and I am done. I did single crochet all the way around, increasing in the corners. I did three single crochet in the corner. Um, I also did one single crochet per half double crochet row which is a bit stretched out and you can see that the next row is pretty stretched out too. The next row was double crochet. Same thing for the corners. <sighs> but it looks nice, right? This looks very professional, at least from this distance. I'll show you up close though. Wow. Wow. Why is this not bright enough to make my shadow go away? Just one second. Wow. Wow. That's not even that close. My hands shake it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so creepy, and then that looks so dopey. I can't, but it's fine. I hope Geraldine likes it. I think it's a little bit bigger now than the new jeans one. <laughs> so all in all, this took me about 20 plus hours. I don't know, I wasn't keeping like super track of it, but I think my new jeans one took me like 30 hours. So if you're deciding between them, I would probably do the new jeans one because it's a, it's a bigger impact. I really like it. <laughs> I have all but forgotten this guy. Oh, I need to weave in the ends too. We're not that excited about him though. 
<laughs> Not even four o'clock yet, so I get off like 45 minutes early. Yay! It's not enough time to really start, so well it is, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm happy.